हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज़ अ न्यू टॉपिक दिस इज़ अ कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो न्यूरल नेटवर्क एंड लेट्स सी व्हाट इज़ आर्टिफिशियल न्यूरल नेटवर्क आल्सो दिस इज़ आल्सो सिमिलर टू द न्यूरल नेटवर्क्स ओनली इन दिस वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ क्लियरली द इमेजेस एंड वॉट आर द सेगमेंट्स एंड वॉट आर द लेयर्स इन द न्यूरल नेटवर्कस ओके द टर्म आर्टिफिशियल न्यूरल नेटवर्क इज डिराइव्ड फ्रॉम बायोलॉजिकल न्यूरल नेटवर्क द डेवलप द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ए ह्यूमन ब्रेन ओके similar to the human brain that has neurons interconnected to one another okay same as like neural networks but it is artificial neural network shows how it well perform and what are the uh, structure what is the structure of the artificial neural network okay similar to the human brain they also has neurons interconnected to one another artificial neural networks also have neurons that are connected to one another in various layers of the network these neurons are known as nodes okay let's see how it is the given figure illustrates the typical diagram of biological neural network let's see this image in this we have cell nucleus axon synapse and dendrite that means uh, this is a structure of the artificial neural network and uh, how it going to perform by using the neural networks let's see the typical artificial neural networks look something like a given figure this is in the biological form but this is actual way of a neural network see firstly we are giving input 1 input 2 and input 3 input 1 is considered as x1 input 2 x2 input 3 x1 xn okay for these each inputs we are assigning the weights that is w1 w2 and wn and this x1 x2 x3 is called as nodes interconnected to each other and these weights and after giving a weights to each x1 x2 xn we are connecting to a neuron this neuron will produce an output that is y okay this is the typical art, artificial neural network let's see relationship between biological neural network and artificial neural network in biological neural network we called uh, dendrites and uh, in artificial neural network that dendrites we call it as inputs okay and next cell nucleus is called as nodes synapse is called as weights axon is called as output okay let's compare with these all with the previous slide okay next the architecture of an artificial neural network let's see here architecture to understand the concept of the architecture of an artificial neural network we have to understand what a neural network consists of what a, what are the neural network has input layers and what is the layers and how is the structure then you can understand what is the architecture of an artificial neural network in order to define a neural network that consists of a large number of artificial neurons which are termed units arranged in a sequence of layers let us look at various types of layers available in the artificial neural network mainly this artificial neural network primarily consists of three layers only and output layer is um, input output and hidden layer hidden layers can be any number of hidden layers okay but actually we have only three layers that is input hidden and output see this yellow color uh, box is consist of input layer and uh, this blue and green boxes are hidden layer 1 and 2 and this last color box is called as output layer okay this is the architecture of an artificial neural network if they ask about to write what is neural networks you should write about neural networks and next artificial of neural networks the architecture of a neural network okay next input layer as the name suggests it accepts inputs in several different formats provided by the program in the hidden layer presence in between input and output layers it performs all the calculations to find the hidden features and patterns okay next output layer the input goes through a series of transformations using the hidden layer which finally results in output that is conveyed using this layer okay this is a formula for the output layer okay for this weights we are calculating in the transfer function okay this is the output layer uh, functionality and uh, input and hidden we have only three layers understood if we 
do this w i into x i plus b will uh, we can get easily assigning of a weights to a particular layer okay thank you